And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at Tower Collapse from 707 Games. This is not a uh, very uh, uniquely named game. Oh, it's a game about building a tower and making it collapse. Let's call it Tower Collapse. And you say, well, there's already a lot of these games about making things collapse. You're right, there is. The very most popular one, of course, is Jenga. So I guess that's kind of a good basis. Is this better than Jenga or not? Certainly more colorful. Let me show you how it works. So the game is built up of columns and rings here. Yeah, uh, each each section is going to have two of the different colors and then you'll place a ring on top. This ring is kind of flat there and just sits nice and neatly on top. But you'll see the whole thing has kind of a wobbly feel. And on a player's turn, they're going to roll this six-sided die. And whatever color they roll, they're going to pull a column of that color. Unless they roll a black one, they can pull any color they want. So they simply pull one of that color from the bottom and place it up here. And this will keep going as players are pulling these and putting them on top. Once it's completely full, You'll put a ring on top and keep going. So here we'll show you a quick sped up version and see what happens. And that's basically it. You're going to, you know, the, it's, it's going to get so high and eventually you're going to roll one. The, the towers are pretty sturdy, but it does start leaning because of the way the towers, and they're not like locked in place, so it will start leaning as time goes by. And eventually the tower will fall, and whoever makes the tower fall is the loser. I found this an amusing game to play. I, I, I liked the I, I like the components a lot. I really like these colorful columns. Uh, I like these discs fit on them. It's not so fragile. I mean, at the beginning, you could pull out the towers, but sometimes, especially when the weight is there, you kind of got to twist them a little bit to pull them out. And I like that. I like the die too, right? Because if you could just pull any one out you want, you just it would follow the same order. As it is, sometimes you're forced to pull one out from a precarious position. Now, the box, the rules are in the back of the box, which is never really that good of an idea. But the rules say you can draw any column you want except the bottom layer. Although in the picture here, they show people pulling them from the bottom layer. So what I think that means, I think that might be a mistranslation and I think it might be you can't pull them except from the top layer, which makes more sense. Either way, we pull that, we play, you can pull them from the bottom layer because we want to make the thing fall. Uh, the, so really, what else is there to say? There's a lot of games like this, obviously, pulling Jenga pulls blocks and puts them on top. This pulls towers and put them on top. But I like this better. For one thing, it's cool looking. Another thing is, it just has that aspect of, and you're watching it lean. I don't know, it's just something different than Jenga, maybe? So if you find this for an inexpensive price, this really works well. My kids liked it. It was fun to pull. These are not too hard to get your fingers around and pull out. And you, it's really fun to watch the tower shift and eventually fall. It's a very satisfying collapse uh, when the whole thing falls over. So, you know, that's it. If you like these kind of dexterity games, you'll like it. I thought it was enjoyable. And, you know, if you're looking for something completely different than Jenga, it's probably not here, but it's still a fun game. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Yeah.